All right, folks, my name is Joe and I'm a tour guide and bus driver for Bel Air Charters uh, here in the Seattle, Washington area. Uh, today I'm out here at the cruise terminal working on the Princess Cruises. Uh, um, and one thing that I've always noticed, uh, people are very dry with their DOT safety briefs. It's something that we've got to do, you know, as a part of federal law, uh, just like on an airplane where they have to do their safety brief. As a motor coach driver, you've got to do yours. Uh, and I'm of the opinion that safety briefs don't have to be safety borings. Um, so I like to put in a little flare on there, a hop on the microphone. I can either do this standing up, which is the preferred method, or if you're getting rushed out of a location like I often do here at the pier um, or other tourist locations where other motor coaches and other tour groups are trying to get into, um, I have to do it on the road. So I'll pop on the microphone here and uh, start doing the safety brief. I'm not gonna jump on the microphone right now, I'll get the motor coach off. But uh, just so you guys can hear kind of what I end up doing, uh, this is how I do my safety brief. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joe, and I'm going to be your driver for the day. Just a real quick brief before we get on the road so you guys know what to do in the highly unlikely event of a rollover accident. There are three ways to get out of this bus. Two hatches located above your heads at the front and rear of the bus. Pull down the red handle, push out of the hatch, you can get out of the bus that way. Three windows in the middle of the bus and left and right hand sides that are marked exits are your escape routes. Pull up on the gray bar, push out on the bottom of the window, and you can escape the bus that way. It's a seven foot drop, so don't break your ankles on the way down. The front door at the front of the bus has a little red knob down by the accelerator pedal. Push down a little red chair. It releases the air to the front doors. You can kick it open as dramatic as you want. We're in an accident. Uh, don't worry at that point. Underneath the second seat on the right-hand side, there's a fire extinguisher. In the event of a fire, I don't want anybody being a hero. Smoke inhalation sucks. Insurance is awesome. We're going to get off the bus and watch it burn. In the back of the bus, for your comfort and convenience, there is a restroom. Gentlemen, while we are underway, please sit down for both bodily functions because you're not that good of a shot. And once everyone is done, please put the toilet lid down so we don't all turn into a uh, uh, smelly town here on the bus so we don't smell what you put in there. That'd be awesome. Please use hand sanitizer at any given moment uh, that you can if you touch any surface. If you do decide to get around the bus anytime, please hang on to the overhead rails or the seat backs. Uh, speaking of receipts, you guys have seat belts. This bus is equipped with seat belts in the state of Washington. You must have those fastened while we are underway. It's an honor system. I'm not going to go back there and check it, but uh, you guys can please have those fastened while we're on the road. Overhead vents are on and available, just like an airplane. Twist and point them at your face. If you don't want them on, go ahead and turn them off. Uh, reading lights are on and available as well. Uh, your seats have armrests. Pick the armrest up and push down. It should lock into place. To undo that, just reverse operations. Underneath that armrest, there's a little handle you can pull up on. Lean your seat back. Do so with the parallel of the person's knees behind you. Those of you sitting in the window seats got easy mode. Pull back on the black handle. Lean your seat back. If you guys need anything during this drive, please let me know. My name is Joe. Let's get on the road. Thanks. So that's how I do my safety brief. I often change what I say and how I say it, depending on the clientele, the age of the customers, uh, whether it's corporate, white glove, uh, if I'm doing transit uh, work, military, I, 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 I'm a little bit more gruff. Depending on your company's policies, you may not be able to say the things that I say or make the more crude or um, or off-color jokes. Uh, once again, it all depends on your company's policy, the clientele. You just gotta, gotta feel them out. Don't get yourself in trouble. Um, stick with the safe option if you have to, but yeah, you don't gotta make it boring. Uh, and you don't gotta sit there and cover every little point. And I'm pretty sure there's things that I missed about safety features of the bus, but uh, you know, just, just, just do it as quickly as possible. All right, folks, I gotta get out of here. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.